Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me, Tommy. How's it going, Tommy? It's going awesome, Chris. Great. Well, we have some celebrity news. Tommy has some news about YouTube. I have some news about what's going on with some celebrities. Uh, Halloween's coming up, right, Tommy? Yep, it is. Have you decided what you're going to be yet? No, not yet. Well, we got to get to it. Get a Halloween costume, you know? Just put a pillow over your face and be cast for the ghost, you know? Let's go. So welcome back everybody. Tommy and I have some news like we said and Tommy has some news for everybody out there which is YouTube news. So Tommy, what's going on for this week? Okay, YouTube created a page that was called the Creator Hub which has recently been revamped to now uh, the Creator uh, website where it showcases um, videos, different levels of like say you're one to a thousand you know different things of course the gold the diamond the play button all that uh, and you can also watch videos there how to improve your channel they've got a new series which is a, called Masterclass, which is basically helps people uh, learn about how to make better videos and to really push out their channel and get it to where they want it to be so basically the the whole purpose of this revamp is to really excite YouTubers again uh, to really make people go, oh, I want to achieve this level of success. I want to achieve that. Um, they also got this program called Partner Manager Program, where if you're at a certain level of subscribers, it does say how much uh, you need to have, but you pretty much need a good amount. And where you can get someone to help you out and manage your YouTube channel and help you grow your channel uh, at different stages. So that is a great thing, Tommy, just because let's say if you're a filmmaker, right? Somebody out there is a filmmaker, um, an artist, a music artist, a, um, they want to start a channel. Well, the creative app will definitely help you. The creator studio will do a lot to show you how to make videos. Well, you can always go on YouTube and watch the video, like if you're using um, Sony Vegas, Final Cut Pro, Adobe After Effects, it doesn't matter, the list goes on. You can always go on, but this will also show you how many subscribers you're gaining, what you're doing, how you're doing it, um, what kind of views you're getting in, and it does help out like if you're a beginner like, like me and Tommy said, right Tommy? That's correct. So, moving on, what else do you have Tommy? Okay, my final story for this week is about Felix, aka PewDiePie. Basically, PewDiePie is a gamer uh, that plays video games and does gameplays and uh, does it in a comical way. And also recently done live game feeds as well as just him talking about topics and stuff um, on his channel and making jokes and comedy. Recently, a term that's been used about Felix is uh, untouchable. Um, basically, even after he's lost uh, his maker spot at Maker, uh, being at the high level of making income on YouTube for advertisements and stuff, and all the jokes and all the controversy that he's been through, he's still on top on YouTube. He's still getting millions of views on all of his videos, and he's still financially uh, sound, you know. He hasn't really hurt him overall, and people are still loving him, watching him. So that's what they mean by untouchable: is no matter how much he screws up, he's gonna still be around and doing just fine. Right. Well, well, well 
I don't judge Felix. I don't judge PewDiePie. So his content is really awesome. It's good to me. Um, a lot of people like what he has as far as video games, stuff like pranks, funny stuff. It doesn't matter what he does. The guy is still awesome to me in my book and I'm not going to judge him. So moving on we have Harvey Weinstein, Tommy. Harvey Weinstein is in a lot of trouble. So, do you want to tell others why he is in trouble out there, Tommy? Yes, Harvey Weinstein is in a lot of trouble right now because there's allegations uh, going around that he has sexually harassed multiple women. So, Harvey Weinstein has uh, allegations, pending sexual allegations that are being pended on him that he sexually harassed actresses, producers, directors, that are actually women. So these actors are saying, this is what's happening. This is uh, what's going on. Besides Harvey, take away Harvey for a minute, Tommy. Um, because a lot of these actresses, actors are coming out in Hollywood saying, this producer touched me, that producer that touched me, uh, this director touched me. I was touched the wrong way when I was on the news. Yeah, this really has opened up the uh, floodgates uh, for not just you know, Harvey, but other people out there who have taken advantage of young up and coming actresses, you know, with their position of power and, and you know, thinking, oh, this is cool, you know, uh, this is cool and stuff. Where it's not cool anywhere you uh, look at it. You know, somebody like Terry Crews' wife just was on TMZ to where uh, she was coming out to where um, somebody actually touched Terry Crews the wrong way when he was doing a movie or a TV show. Um, she really didn't share which one, but you know, the point is is that somebody like for her to come out and be saying that about Terry says quite a bit. But before Harvey, why didn't my question is for you all and for the subscribers out there is, is basically if this was actually happening behind the scenes, right? Well, why didn't Hollywood bring this out in the first place? Why did they wait for somebody like Harvey to open the door? Be like, somebody's touched me, somebody sexual assault me, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right, Tommy? Yes. So that's the thing is, is that why Harvey? Why did everybody wait till Harvey came out with this? Why didn't everybody just open up about it in the first place? It is kind of interesting because there has been, you know, you know, with the Bill, the whole Bill Cosby thing, you know, you know, here's a big time uh, celebrity, you know, why did it, A, this stuff come up after that all came out, you know, that would have been, a, you, you know, yeah, why was it Harvey Weinstein that opened up floodgates and not like the Bill Cosby thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I get with what you're saying, Tommy, about, you know, Bill Cosby, sexual allegations against Bill Cosby. Why didn't anybody say anything then and stuff? Or when Tiger Woods had his issue, I mean, there were multiple women coming out saying he did this, did that, but they really weren't celebrities. They really, they really weren't a part of Hollywood, right, Tommy? Correct. So that's my point. So anyways... Um, give your thoughts about this story down in the section below what your thoughts are about Harvey Weinstein and the whole sexual allegations and how for Hollywood coming out now. So um, moving on, we have a diary with Anne Frank costume, Tommy. Some genius out there wanted to make a costume of, you know, Anne Frank from the diary of Anne Frank, you know? This costume is out for Halloween already, but it's 25 bucks. I think it's a great idea if someone, uh, a, a little girl wants to dress up as someone who was uh, touted as a hero of the World War II era, you know, it's just, it's, it's just a dress, you know? There's nothing offensive about wearing a dress. Anne Frank was pretty, you know, um, she was inspiring, right, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. So, anyways, that's our story. So, um, comment down section down below on what your thoughts are about our stories. Don't forget to check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more news and tunes and reviews and much more out there. So until next time, this has been a Next Level Productions. The channel takes you to the next level. All right. See you around, everyone. Later. Bye.